The UK is one of the most nature depleted countries in the world. Here in Kent, we live in one of the most land scarce parts of England, with development and population increasing annually. With over 1.5 million people living in Kent, predicted to rise by 20% by 2040, our wildlife and natural spaces face increasing pressure. Kent Wildlife Trust's vision is to increase wildlife abundance and climate resilience across 30% of Kent's land and sea. To do this, we purchase and manage land, introduce species where they have been lost, and work with the community and landowners so they can take meaningful action to create space for nature and for people. Here in East Kent, we're lucky to have nationally and internationally important wildlife areas, including the Bleen, Southern England's largest area of ancient woodland. Human management of natural spaces hasn't been that successful, so we're trying a new approach by letting nature take the lead. We call it wilding. As well as giving habitat the space it needs to recover, we're working with some important animals. We call them ecosystem engineers that have a vital role in habitat restoration and management, but are missing from most of our landscape. Two such animals are the European beaver and European bison, now found in East Kent. The European beaver has been extinct in the UK since the 16th century, due to being hunted with fur, meat and oil. And by the 20th century, we're almost extinct across Europe. A recovery programme started in Europe then, but it took until 2003 for the UK's first beaver project at Kent Wildlife Trust's Ham Fen Reserve here in Kent. This was our first wilding project, using beavers to help restore this degraded fen, which is Kent's last remaining fen and plays an important role in carbon storage. Today, European beavers are found along the River Stour and the population is thriving. Beavers are now part of our wild biodiversity in East Kent and they're helping restore this chalk river that flows into the North Sea at Pegwell Bay. Beavers are ecosystem engineers because they make changes to the habitat they live in, such as damming small watercourses and digging canal systems, and benefiting other wildlife and people. These activities create diverse and dynamic wetlands that help connect the floodplains with waterways like the Stour. Kent is at the forefront of climate change, with predictions of warmer and wetter winters. Flooding can be a very damaging result of this, and when beavers build dams, this slows and cleans the water. This means that during periods of heavy rain, less water flows downstream, reducing flooding and creating wet woodlands and ponds. These new habitats also act as carbon sinks, helping to slow climate change. Beavers also create new habitats that benefit other species, like invertebrates and bats, as well as endangered species such as the water vole. Our other ecosystem engineers only arrived in 2022. European bison are the closest living relative to a species that once roamed the UK several thousand years ago, the steppe bison. And in losing them, we lost an important woodland manager. These animals create a more diverse woodland with trees of different ages and clearings that let more light reach the woodland floor, allowing different species to thrive and adapt to climate change. The way they graze and interact with their surroundings is unique, as they target bark, dust bathe, creating sandy patches and make corridors through densely vegetated patches using their sheer size and strength, which links up microhabitats. These behaviours help restore a healthy life cycle in woodlands and create gaps in the canopy that provide a three-dimensional habitat to the benefit of a variety of species, which is currently missing because we have highly managed our woodlands for forestry. Our West Bleen Wilding project aims to test whether bison can help restore our woodlands naturally and create a climate resilient habitat for the future. The herd started with four adults, led by the matriarch. Since then we've had two calves, which are contributing to the European Endangered Breeding Programme. European bison were extinct in the wild in the early 20th century, but concerted efforts to recover Europe's largest land animal have resulted in a population of about 10,000 animals today. We've already seen the benefits that the herd have brought to West Bleen through our extensive monitoring programme and continue to study their progress with interest. 
but both bison and beavers need space to be able to do their jobs. And in order to create more space for nature, we need to rethink about how we use our land. Our natural spaces are islands in a very crowded landscape. But by working together, we can combat some of these challenges and rebuild our landscapes, resulting in people and wildlife being able to coexist and enjoying our environment the way nature intended. <laughs>